Hello, guys. Today, I would like to tell you about an economist and his contributions. But there are so many economists from different schools like classical schools, Keynesian schools, neoclassical, and many more. However, the most interesting economist that I would like to find out about is Robert Lucas from Chicago School. So, who is Robert Lucas? Robert Lucas is an American neoclassical economist and a longtime professor at the University of Chicago. Robert Lucas is well known for his contributions, especially on relation expectations and the Lucas criticism. This timeline shows the background of Robert Lucas from his early life till now. He was born as the eldest child of his family in Yakima, Washington. When he was 18, he graduated from the Roosevelt High School. Four years later, he received a Bachelor of Arts in History from the University of Chicago. He planned to pursue graduate studies at the University of California, but due to financial reasons, he returned to the University of Chicago to pursue his PhD in economics. In 1963, Lucas became a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. Lucas returned to the University of Chicago in 1974. In 1995, Lucas was awarded the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics for having developed and applied the hypothesis of relation expectations. And now, Lucas is an emeritus professor at the University of Chicago. Robert Lucas made many contributions from the period of 1970s to 2000s. Most of his contributions are revolutions towards macroeconomics theory. His studies in business cycle theory collects his research from the 1970s and the models of business cycles provide an overview of his economic theory. These are some of the contributions that Robert Lucas has made based on his studies. First is the development of new classical school of macroeconomics. Then, he also developed idea of rational expectations and its implication for macroeconomic theory and policy, the Lucas critique, the Uzawa-Lucas model, and the theory of supply or Lucas aggregate supply function. Next is the economic growth theory, the Lucas paradox, the investment theory, and the expectations and neutrality of money, which was published in 1972 in the Journal of Economic Theory. He also served for a time as president of the American Economic Association and the Economic Society. Last but not least, he also edited or co-edited several economic journals. Now, I will be explaining more on contributions made by Robert Lucas. Firstly, is rational expectation, which is the idea that people make economic decisions based on experience and expectations about the future. Secondly, is Lucas' critique. He believed that econometric models are unreliable for evaluation policy if they do not incorporate rational expectations. Thirdly is Lucas Uzawa model. It is an endogenous growth model which explains long-run economic growth is dependent on human capital accumulation. Next is Lucas paradox which is the observation that capital does not flow from developed countries to developing countries. Classical economic theory predicts that capital should flow from rich countries to poor countries due to the effect of diminishing returns of capital. In reality, things do not seem to work that way. Next, we explain about the theories and ideas from Robert Lucas. There are three popular ideas from Lucas, which are rational expectation, Lucas critique, and neoclassical macroeconomics. Firstly, we take a look at the rational expectation. Lucas looked deeper into the implication of rational expectation towards macroeconomic theory and policy. 
Rational expectation is a contrast of adaptive expectation where, based on rational expectation, economic agent will take into account all available information, including any future effects from fiscal and monetary policy, such as expansion of money supply. When they learn from their experience, they can be fooled again by the same policy. Now, let's continue with Lucas' critique. What is Lucas' critique? Have you ever heard about it? Lucas' critique is an econometric policy. Lucas' critique is focused on the implications to the economy by changing policy. Expectations are important in determining the outcome of a discretionary policy. In his paper, Econometric Policy Evaluation, a critic said that econometric models are unreliable for evaluation policy options if they do not incorporate rational expectations. Lucas argues that when policy change, expectations will change thereby changing the relationship in econometric models. The term structure application demonstrates an aspect of the Lucas critique. The effects of a particular policy depend critically on the public's expectations about the policy. For example, if the public expect the rise in the short-term interest rate to be merely temporary, the response of long-term interest rates will be negligible. But, if the public expect the rise to be more permanent, the response of the long-term rates will be greater. Let's have a look on Lucas' new classical model. When an unanticipated increase in aggregate demand from 81 to 82 occurs, expecting higher profits, firms increase employment and output temporarily move the economy from A to B. The general increase in aggregate demand will raise the nominal wages and other input prices. Firms experience rising costs, shifting the short-run aggregate supply curve leftward from S1 to S2. The economy moves from B to C reversing the previous increase in output. The economy is self-correcting just as the classical economy taught. For this reason, his theory is known as a new classical macroeconomy. As the action of the central bank increases, the money supply is public, the inflationary outcome is anticipated. When changes in aggregate demand are anticipated, the real output stays constant. The short-run aggregate demand curve shifts rightward from 81 to 82 simultaneously with the leftward decrease in aggregate supply from AS1 to AS2. The economy moves directly from A to C along the long-run aggregate supply curve. Only inflation occurs. Oh wow, that's interesting. I have learned many interesting information about Robert Lucas, which are his background, his contribution, and lastly, his popular theories and ideas. In conclusion, Robert Lucas is known as the Chicago School Economist who create many macroeconomic theories that reflect their modern economies to date. With that, thank you.